Cholesterol Tests An Easy Guide Cholesterol is an essential building material used throughout our bodies. Cholesterol is distributed in our body via HDL, LDL transporters. LDL sends cholesterol to the body where it is needed. HDL picks up any excess and returns it to the liver. If LDL is damaged, it can be very harmful to the body. Making sense of cholesterol test results. Two doctrines. In doctrine one, the risk of heart attack is considered high once any of the cholesterol values exceed the range indicated. Statins will be prescribed to bring the numbers within range. Sometimes, the ratio, total cholesterol to HDL, is also included in the report. The ratio printed in the report is easy to verify by simple division. This works regardless of whether milligram or millimole is adopted since the ratio relates to the same substance, cholesterol. The ratio, the total cholesterol, and the LDL are all high in this case. The healthy ratio for total cholesterol to HDL seem to be defined differently amongst various laboratories, as seen here. Doctrine 1, Summary If either the total cholesterol, or LDL, exceeds the limit, statins are prescribed. The ratio of total cholesterol to HDL does not have a standard recommended value. The ratio of total cholesterol to HDL seldom affects doctor's decision. Doctrine 2 In Doctrine 2, it is considered that individual cholesterol numbers are not of primary concern. Neither is the ratio of total cholesterol to HDL cholesterol. Instead, the best indicator of heart health is the ratio of triglycerides to HDL cholesterol. In Doctrine 2, the ratio of triglycerides to HDL shall not exceed 2 or 0.9, depending on whether millimole or milligrams are used by the lab. Do not confuse this ratio with the ratio mentioned in Doctrine 1. Unlike the ratio total cholesterol to HDL provided in the reports, you will have to calculate yourself the ratio triglycerides to HDL. seen in the examples, the two doctrines can present differences in interpretation of a patient's risk of heart attacks. Viewers are encouraged to study the origins and basis behind the two doctrines, some relevant links and references are provided in the next frame. 
Thanks for watching. Thank you.